hope you're well and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would film for you all a massive home haul when i say humongous i mean we have been really really good the whole month of january we have not spent anything on home stuff I have limited myself, we've really kind of stripped it back in terms of our savings and for any of you that know me you would have known that I did an August no spend and that's practically what I did for the month of January. I didn't really spend anything other than necessities I needed to buy but that meant when payday came um, yesterday was the 1st of February and I spent quite a bit of money on home stuff. So relatively these are actually all very very good buys because a lot of these were bargain buys and i'd kind of hunted down throughout the month the best places to buy a lot of stuff some of the stuff that i am going to be showing you i've got on really good sale prices so they might not necessarily still be available although i did only pick them up yesterday so hopefully they'll all still be in stock for you to be able to grab obviously as you know home sense doesn't stock everything but yeah i'm gonna crack on and show you everything that i've got and just as a word of warning there are things from home sense matalan dunelm new look primark and tesco and i think that's everything so yeah i'm gonna crack on so to start with i'm gonna start with home sense now i have got a whole bag of goodies here I still have some items that I've ordered online as well that haven't arrived yet, so not everything that I've bought over yesterday and whatever else has arrived yet, but I'll obviously do another haul with those. So one of the first things that I've bought is this stunning tray here. It is a mirrored tray and it has like these diamantes around it and I have a lot of pieces like this in my and around my home. I use some little um, like container pots that I got from Argos, quite, um, no, Asda. Um, a few years back now that I use my makeup brushes and things like that um, but I got this it's all mirrored in the middle which is absolutely stunning and it's for my bedroom this piece so I'm gonna have it on some drawers which I have over there um, and this was £16.99 so I thought that is such a bargain for how big it is and how gorgeous it is so absolutely in love with that so my next buy are two little plant pots and they look like this and they're absolutely stunning i don't know how well you can see those but look how gorgeous they are they have this absolutely amazing detailing on them and i literally think they are stunning um i got two of them because my plan was i wanted to put them in my kitchen because i have some ikea ones however they've died i mean who kills ikea cactuses um clearly oh no Oh no, I've just realised this one has a chip in it. Oh well, I don't really think you'll notice it too much. But yeah, um, yeah, I apparently can't even keep cactuses alive. So I thought I would just go for the fake ones. And they'll look a lot better and a lot brighter in my kitchen. And again, I thought they would match perfectly. They're going to add some colour to my kitchen without it being too in your face. And obviously the grey theme keeps them looking nice. And they were £6.99. So I thought, what a bargain for £6.99. You really genuinely cannot go wrong. And I love this one. I wish there was more um, that were available that were in this shade. But there wasn't. And um, this one's a little bit plainer. But nonetheless, still really, really pretty. The lady at the till also gave me this. Now, this is um, a reward card, and I didn't even know that that HomeSense sold reward cards. But apparently you can use it in TK Maxx and HomeSense, and the more you spend, the more you get entered into prize draws, um, money off stuff, invites to exclusive events, random surprises and delights throughout the year, and then these are just straight to your inbox. So, if none of you have picked up one of these, I would definitely recommend it, because you can obviously always get stuff for free and it just kind of gives you an incentive to go shopping a bit more and to be completely honest my home sense haul was probably one of the smallest hauls that i did out of all of them just because there weren't as much in there this time round. but i did pick up this as well which i thought was really really cute so this here is a little money bank a little money box as such and Parker didn't really get many trinkets when he was first born and I thought it looked really cute it's in like this minty pastely green shade again and it says hello beautiful baby boy in gold writing and I just think it's stunning it's going to look really really nice on his shelves and he needed some more bits and this was £4.99 as well down from £13.99 so again you can't really go wrong with that so the next thing that I'm going to show you isn't necessarily a home item but it is something you would use and it was from New Look and it is this stunning water bottle. 
oh my goodness yet again it is absolutely stunning it's got a pink top and it's got mermaid squad written on it and it has this gorgeous sort of silver detailing in like a mermaid shimmery color it's really big as you can probably see by the size of it compared to my face and I have been doing a lot of exercise recently and I wanted a bottle that's a little bit bigger I love my hydrate mates but I need to buy some more of them they're all kind of getting quite manky now because I've used them for the same ones for about three years or so now so um, I needed to get some more and so I picked this up I actually picked up some other bottles before I picked up this um, but this was £6.99 which I thought was a fairly good price considering I'd pay normally around £14 for a hydrate mate bottle um, so absolutely in love with this and they had loads of other ones as well they had like unicorn ones ones to do with Prosecco and Champagne, Mermaid ones so definitely recommend New Look for if you're looking for a really really nice girly water bottle and now I'm going to crack on to Matalan. So again, I bought quite a few pieces in Matalan, so I'm going to show them all to you. They are all home related, so yeah, I'm going to crack on. So the first thing that I picked up were these coat hangers. Now both the boys have these coat hangers. They're just a really simple, um, they're just a really simple set of coat hangers. I think there's 10 of them in a pack. Yeah, there's 10 of them in a pack. And basically I like having the same coat hangers in a wardrobe purely because it allows you to get more stuff in and both of the boys share um a wardrobe together so there was just another pack they're normally two pounds and i'm hoping that they're not discounted down because they're getting rid of them and um, because i've used these now for literally the past three years in clayton's wardrobe and obviously bought more along the way for parker but for a pound for 10 coat hangers for the boys you can't really go wrong so i definitely recommend matalan for their coat hangers now, as I said, I also bought some other water bottles. So the next two water bottles that I bought were these two. Again, I really love the colours of these. And I picked these up prior to picking up the other one. But Adam and Clayson also use these bottles. So it's not so much of an issue. But this one says, Hydrate Feel Grey. Um, and it has down the side... Oh no, this one's scratched too. But down the side, it has all the timing. So it kind of has the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... And then can I get a refill? And again, the same with this one. This one says Hydrate Feel Great 2. Has all the timings down them. And again, I just thought they were nice sizes. Um, I'm not quite sure. 700 mils, these ones. So I'd probably need about three of these a day. Um, but yeah, I thought these were absolutely perfect. Good sizes because I normally find sometimes the Hydrate Bigger Mate, the bigger Hydrate Mate bottles can be a little bit big. And I like the smaller 600 mil ones um, when I'm just on the run with the school kids. So yeah love these and these were five pounds each as well which again i thought really really reasonable considering what the hydrate mate ones cost although i don't know how good they're going to be in comparison um but they've still got the spouty tops and things like that so yeah really want to give those a try so the next thing that i picked up was this and it is a laundry tub and for any of you that have seen my recent cleaning videos you will know that i have something very similar to this but I have a cleaning caddy of this and I've wanted to pick this up for a very very long time however I never did because I couldn't find the right shade of grey and the writing didn't match and it used to really really bug me and then online these are about £15 but I'd spotted this one in Matalan a very very long time ago um probably back in September time I'd spotted this which is when I moved in and obviously had my other one my cleaning caddy and I thought Do you know what bugger it I'm just gonna buy it if it doesn't match it doesn't matter it's gonna make my under my cupboard a lot more organized so I'm definitely going to use this from now on it does come with a little scoop but I don't really use that I use the tablets but I just thought it was a really nice place to store them all instead of inside all those horrible messy purse or, or fairy boxes they come in and I forgot to mention that was eight pounds now the next thing isn't necessarily my cup of tea however I don't know what they call it they call it a silicon gripper but it's one of these, and I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but basically they're to get trays out of the oven with. Um, I'm not a big fan of this one because it's got like these eyes on it. But I figured that if it goes round that way on my oven, you won't see those. But I thought it kind of might be a bit fun. Clayton might see it and would think it was fun. But I've wanted one of these silicon grippers for ages because we've always normally got a big oven glove over our kitchen. And so I thought this was £2.00. Yeah, two pounds, so I thought for two pounds I can't really go wrong. And I kind of wish I'd picked up two so I could have grabbed stuff with two hands, but I'm gonna see how well this one does and then I might go back for more. But Matalan are definitely up in their game. They also had apple coras in there. Now I already have one from IKEA, 
which is a green one, but they had a grey one. And for anyone that knows me, I mean, grey is kind of my thing. So um, I was going to pick it up, but then I was like, for a, and it was only a pound or two, but I'm really still trying to be quite strict on what I am buying. And when I've already got one that works, I don't really need another one. So yeah, just bought this, but I thought that was really, really cute. It would keep the kids entertained. Um, when I'm kind of making dinner, I can kind of joke around a bit with it like a puppet um but yeah definitely um worthwhile picking up because i can just chuck it in my drawer now and it won't be out on my side or over my oven and the last thing that i picked up from no it's not the last thing the second to last thing that i picked up from matalan was this gorgeous candle now i smelt the reed diffuser so i know that it smells amazing but it's a black lily um elegance at home luxury candle and it comes in this stunning bell jar if you can see that absolutely love it love bell jars at the moment i've also recently picked up another one of these which i'll show you in a bit but this bell jar is just stunning it's massive and the other bell jar that i picked up i think it was 15 pounds from mns and it had a gorgeous candle in it as well but it was a lot smaller than this and i couldn't fit a lot of my candles in so i am loving this love bell jars love the way that they look and now i've got a couple of them and i'm so excited to start burning this candle because it smelled amazing in the shop and they also did like some orange blossom ones there was like four scents that they did in the range but i like this one because it was great so and um, that's why i picked this one up but yeah i would definitely recommend matalan for candles and bell jars if you're on the hunt now for any of you guys that don't know we moved into our house back in september and we had already purchased a lot of our bedding and things like that and i absolutely love this bedding but at the moment i feel like i want something a bit crisper now we're coming into spring and i've always had multiple sets of bedding and so i have recently gotten hold of a amazingly gorgeous set of white bedding i haven't quite put it on the bed yet um, because I have been waiting to get some other little extra bits and these are some of the extra bits that I've got which I'm going to be showing you now but it is stunning the bedding is stunning I cannot wait to put it on but obviously I wanted to kind of get the rest of the room decorated before I put the new bedding on because I'm worried that then it may be a bit too white because we still have white walls and things like that so yesterday when I went to head out shopping before I went out I had an email come through from Matalan and it was basically their email updating me with all of their new home things in and all of their new items. And that's when I saw these pillows and I was like, perfect. I'm heading off to Matalan. I'm going to go there and I'm going to pick up some of these. So this is the pillow. And yeah, it looks pretty simple. But I have tried, been trying to hunt these down in home sense, exactly the same as this in home sense for a very long time. Um, it's quite, it looks quite light grey on camera, but if you match it up to the bedding, it is a little bit lighter, but it's such a lovely shade and it's such amazing quality. So they had two sizes of these pillows. They had this size, which I think is a really good size, and they also had a larger size. Now this is just for my bed. So the plan is to kind of prop it up on the bed somehow, um, not quite sure where I want it as of yet, whether I want it in front or behind or what I'm going to do. But once I've got the rest of the bedding on, you'll be able to see that. But I picked up two of those and I think they're just stunning. I may even go back and pick up some more because they were such a good price. They were £6 each and the bigger size was £10. And even in places like B&M and stuff like that, their pillows aren't that cheap and definitely not as good quality. I've got some ones from B&M downstairs on my sofa and... Um, I definitely might pick up some of these for my sofa downstairs because I absolutely love these. So yeah, I picked up two and they're stunning and they did them in loads of different colours as well. So if you need some new pillars, I would definitely recommend heading off to Matalan and just seeing what they've got. And obviously all of this is also available online. So I will link as much of this as possible that I can find online just so you can see it because they had some amazing stuff in. So following on from this and obviously the whole redecorating my bedroom, I also needed a new fro for my bed. Now I was going to purchase a fro for my gorgeous bedding that I've got at the moment, which is from Dunelm if any of you were wondering. Um, but the fros in Dunelm do cost quite a bit of money. The bed spreads come and start around £150 for a lot of them. So I was very, very dubious about buying one from there because it's such a lot of money. And I'd already spent so much on the bedding itself and all the extra pillows. But I went into Tesco and oh my goodness, I don't know about you, but if you, any of you have been into Tesco recently, they have upped their homeware game like anything. It is top notch at the moment. So I picked up this, which I'm absolutely in love with. Now it's this gorgeous, stunning, chunky knit fro and it's obviously got this like cream fluffy bit inside. Now it is a fro, so it will fit over the end of my bed, but I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna use it there anymore 
or if I'm going to have it downstairs in the living room because it is so nice. My only worry with having it downstairs is that it seems like it's the type of material that will bobble and will get cool. And with the boys, I'm not sure whether I want them getting their grubber mitts on it, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking at the end of the bed, it might be better. However, I also went into Dunelm and I picked up a few bits in Dunelm. It did tell you I bought quite a bit. <laughs> so I'll show you the bits that I picked up in Dunelm as well. Basically, I was looking around Dunelm and I went in there last week and there were a few things that I wanted to buy. And unfortunately, some of the items that I wanted to buy were broken and damaged and they didn't have a complete set. So I, went, I wanted two of one item and they only had one, the other one was broken. So I couldn't pick up some of the items. But when I was walking around, I saw a fro and it was in the cell section. And it was on one of the end pillars where all the cell stuff was. And all of the cell stuff was labelled up with a red cell label. And this was there and I picked it up and I was looking for a cell marker and I couldn't find it. And I was like, okay, do I bring it to the till and just ask them and see? And I was like, the likelihood is someone's probably picked it up, gone to buy it, seen something very similar in the cell and then just popped it back on that place where they swapped it over. That was obviously the likelihood because everything else was marked up with cell stickers. So I thought, fine, I'll leave it. So I went back downstairs and I was having a mooch around the downstairs area. And I came back down and I saw the same bedspread yet again, but another one, obviously. And again, it was in a cell basket and they had like the big, you know, the big trolley loads of stuff. They had that and they had this again in that basket. But again, everything else is labelled up apart from this. And I was just like, oh, I really like this. But obviously I don't want to spend a lot of money on a bedspread. So I thought, well, actually, do you know what? Bugger it. I've got nothing to lose. I'll go and ask them at the till and find out how much it costs. So I also picked up another item, which I'll show you in a second. But when I got to the till, I was outstanding that this was in the south and I was so, so happy. So the majority of bedspreads in Dunelm are £150 roughly. This one actually started off and it was £55 and I'll show you it now. So as you can see, it's this gorgeous pearlescent um, bedspread. It's in a pale grey cover. It's quilted. It just looks absolutely so stunning and they've actually got it on some white bedding and i think it's gorgeous and um, it was 55 pounds and again i was thinking well if it wasn't in the sale i could maybe buy it for 55 it's still a lot less than the 150 um but i got it for 22 pounds 22 pounds i was so so happy this is going to look absolutely stunning with these cushions and i think this all together on the bed and then obviously I'm probably going to keep a lot of the cushions on the bed that I've got behind me as well. Um, I was just so, so happy. I love this. And this was the one that I'd initially purchased first. And then obviously I bought the other ones. So I may just swap and change them because I actually love them both. And they're both amazing. Um, yeah, I really, really love this one. I think it's so beautiful. It has such a lovely pattern on it as well. Yeah, I can't wait to get it on my bed. So if you're looking for any good style bedding stuff at the moment, definitely head down to Dunelm because I was so shocked how much was in their style. And so many of the items were absolutely lovely. So I definitely recommend heading down to Dunelm and just seeing what they've got on. And then following on from this, I also picked up a tray. Now I know I picked up that tray already, but I've also wanted a different style tray for my kitchen. And I've wanted either a white or gray one and I've looked everywhere online and the cheapest I can probably find them is about 20 pounds and they've not quite been what I've been looking for. So I picked up this tray here, which I think again is absolutely lovely. It's a gorgeous pale gray color, um, like a dove gray I would say. And I think that's gonna look absolutely stunning in my kitchen once we've finished off our kitchen. Um, just to literally pop on some flowers and a candle, or again in my living room with my books for my coffee table. Um, I do have another tray that I purchased for that as well, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I thought that was stunning. And it was £10. £10. Um, I was so shocked. There were actually some in there that were slightly damaged. And I was tempted to pick them up because they were down to £5. They had white and they had grey. Um, but I loved the grey colour. And um, yeah, I mean, for £5, I could have easily resprayed that myself. But I just kind of wanted to make a little less hassle at the moment because I'm really, really busy. But yeah, Dunelm have absolutely amazing stuffing at the moment. I've always loved Dunelm. Um, the majority of my bedding and my decorational pieces and my curtains and blinds have always been from Dunelm. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. I have so much stuff around my house in Dunelm from lampshades and from, God, from my tea and coffee pots and 
things like that. I have so much stuff from Dunham, so I definitely recommend checking out Dunham at the moment because everything is on point. And the last two items I'm going to show you, I've already been using. However, I picked up this, and this is the other bell jar that I mentioned about. And um, obviously, it's a bit harder to show you because there isn't a base to it. However, this is the candle, which is Library of Scent, and it's fig, and it smells amazing. I can't even put my finger on what it smells like. Um, it kind of smells like a sheer butter that you'd put on yourself, but with like a fruity floral twist. It's really kind of hard to describe. And then obviously it comes with this beautiful bell jar. And obviously when it's just sitting on your side, it looks like that, which I think is absolutely stunning. I love the look of bell jars, but obviously like I mentioned, this other one that I picked up is a lot bigger. So I'll show you the comparison size. So as you can see, this one's a lot wider. Um, which is basically what I needed to get some more candles on. But I love the fact that this will hold smaller ones. And now I have two. And um, this one was £15 from M&S. And this one was £10 from Matalan. But the candle in this is gorgeous. And it has a really long burn time. Because I've had this candle on quite a bit. And there's still quite a large majority of it left. Um, it's still really high up. It's still about here. So I definitely recommend M&S for some candles. And this stunning bell jar. And I actually looked on Amazon for a bell jar for quite a few weeks. And the cheapest that I could find one was around, again, £20. And it was for the smaller sizes. And then, obviously, to be able to walk into somewhere like Matalan or Dunelm or M&S and pick up stuff like that, but for cheaper, with a candle, is definitely beneficial. They also did have some bell jars in home sense. So if you are looking, it may be worth going down there. But they were a bit too big for what I was looking for, hence why these were perfect. Now the last item that I picked up was from a company called My Furniture and I ordered my shelves. So for any of you that follow my home decor account, you will know what they look like. But they're basically mirrored shelves that I have in my bathroom. And I picked up this gorgeous, stunning, rectangular shaped tray. Now this is for my living room and it's part of my coffee table decor. And on it, it has, um, it sits on top of my Chanel and Vogue coffee books, which I picked up from Amazon because a few of you have asked me where I got them from, so that's where they're from. And it sits on top of there, and normally how I have it is pretty much like this. So I have like a bell, ooh, <laughs> nearly dropped it then. So I have a bell jar on it, and normally I'll have something else on there. So it may be a diffuser or it may be just like a decorational piece. I have had it obviously set up in a few different ways, but I am absolutely in love with this. And um, this one was 39.99 off Amazon, although my furniture directly sell it for 34.99. But it was only because I had an Amazon balance that I picked it up off of Amazon instead. But yeah, I absolutely love this tray. So as much as I know that I've purchased three trays in the past few weeks, I have got a mirrored circle one, a rectangular grey one, a rectangular mirrored one, and a hexagonal mirrored one as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of mirrored stuff in my house. I absolutely love the way they all look. And I feel like trays really add a statement piece whilst being so simple. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend having a look on my furniture as well because their website is stunning. Their pieces are amazing. I've already got my eye on a few more pieces that I want to decorate this bedroom with. Um, the husband's trying to rein me in, but they are amazing. But yeah, I would definitely recommend checking them out. So I almost forgot, I have purchased one other item and I picked this up when I went to Primark the day before last. And um, we went to the Bristol Primark and it's so much bigger than our local Primark. And I'm always used to having Lakeside Primark to go to. So for me to have a smaller town Primark, it really doesn't float my boat when I used to have Lakeside five minutes from me. But I also picked up this diffuser. Now I've wanted this for weeks and I've never been able to find it in my local towns. And it's this diffuser here, and I don't know if you can see, but it has this gorgeous marble bottom, and then these black diffuser reeds on it, and it's in Wild Peony and Ylang Ylang, and it lasts up to eight weeks, 100 mils, and it was six pounds. So I'm a bit iffy when it comes to diffusers and how good they're going to be. Normally, my preference for diffusers, if you're looking for a reasonably priced one, would always be next. I've had so many of their diffusers now, and a couple of you may have spotted on my Home Decor account, but I have an amazing one at the moment. It is called something and tonka i can't remember what it's called but it's in a gold bottle and it sits in my hallway and it smells amazing next have always been my go-to place there was another company that i've recently started liking although their bottles aren't decorative like this and um, they are very simple kind of just standard fragrance bottles as such 
um, but their diffusers, if I can remember what they're called, I'll tag them below if I can remember or find them, but their diffusers are amazing and last very, very well, but if you're looking for a more decorated, decorative piece, then I would definitely recommend Next. Um, but I normally find that when I go somewhere else for diffusers, they don't last very well. I've been to the range and their diffusers, although their bottles are stunning, the diffusers don't smell at all. The Audi diffusers I find really, really work. Although I'm not a big fan of the candles, but I like the look of the candles. But I'm really, really interested to give this a try. I think, first of all, this is going to look absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in my dressing room yet, or if I'm going to put it in the kitchen, because I have some other marble pieces in the kitchen. But I'm really, really excited to try this. Peony is one of my favourite scents. I have peonies in my wedding and things like that. So I really, well, they weren't peonies, they were actually saint david something they're another type of peony because it wasn't peony season when we got married but i love peonies if i can have them around my home i do i have fake ones i love the real ones um yeah so i'm really really hoping this smells amazing and again ylang ylang i have the um diffuser not diffuser yeah maybe oh the essential oil i have the essential oil in ylang ylang and it smells really really good so I love having my um, like room diffuser on with that scent. So I would definitely recommend um, picking up this. Like I said, I haven't tried it out, but I'll keep you all posted on my home decor page, which I will obviously add a link to if any of these are interested. But hopefully this will look amazing. If not, I'm thinking I can maybe use it as a flower pot because I have another marble one like this that I need to get some flowers for. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try that too. Well guys, that's everything for all that I went out and purchased yesterday and the day before, a bit naughtily. Um, that's everything that I went to. I went to so many shops yesterday and like I said, I've been spying these bits out so they weren't just on a whim. I don't really think much of this come to more than £100. Obviously I know I bought two really big blankets, they were probably my biggest purchases. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too much more than £100. So to have so many items for that amount of money, I was so, so happy with myself. And I think my husband was relatively shocked at all the offers and deals that I picked up as well. So if you do like any of these items, um, you know where to go, you know where they are. If you do like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe because I have some more haul videos, some more room tours coming up soon, which I know so many of you have been after. And um, so I have room tours coming up soon and have so many more videos like that. So if you do like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, I will see you all in another video again shortly. Bye guys.